On my birthday, November 8th of last year, we had Peter Brieger on the program, and at that time, he brought with him what we thought were three gifts for me. You're down 11.5%, sir. Uh, Scorpio Mining and Bona Vista are the two ones that are under pressure here. We'll set aside Bona Vista for a moment. I want to talk about Scorpio down 37 and a third percent. I see you're still holding it, though. We're still holding it, and we'll be adding it to new accounts, Michael. Um, they had a production hiccup in the third quarter. It's uh, For the fourth quarter, we're looking at probably 10,000 ounces of gold, which is annualized 40,000 a year. And I think that uh, that will lay the groundwork uh, going into a very positive 2013, with production probably being up around the 60 or 65,000 uh, ton uh, ounce per, ounces per, per year. Uh, level, so we still stick to our dollar fifty target uh, twelve month out. Yeah, I've, I've got only three analysts who follow it. One won't even tell me what their rating is uh, on my Bloomberg screen. Casimir has a strong yeah. buy, a buck twenty five. Right. The other one has a thirty cent target and a sell rating. Really? Who's that? That would be uh, Jacob Securities, Matthew Shepard. Never heard of them. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so there you are. Time now for the top picks. Okay. Top Picks is brought to you by Questray, where you can trade stocks for four ninety five. Peter Brieger is our guest, the CEO and Managing Director of Globe Invest Capital Management. He's brought with him only one fresh top pick. Bona Vista was a past yes. pick from about this time last year. Uh, you are still recommending it to today, and this, I suppose, ties back into that Wall Street Journal article I tweeted on your behalf. Exactly. That's one of the key things. And I just for viewers, uh, the summary is uh, Jurgen suggests that um, with the, the uh, increase in the production of natural gas, you're going to see a great, it'll be a great benefit to fertilizer companies that use the natural gas in the production of fertilizer. It will be of great use to chemical companies, um, basically to, to uh, a, a range of other uh, companies like uh, power companies and so on. So there's going to be um, a good continuation of the demand from uh, electric utilities. There's going to be a, a continued growth uh, from the U.S. economy, uh, which uh, Jurgen thinks uh, that it will go forward based on cheap energy. If um, these stars don't align to make all of that happen, what is the outlook for that dividend, which is currently 8%, is that at yeah. risk of being cut? Yeah, we, we talked um, with, with Keith McPhail at length about this, and uh, Keith has said, look, uh, before he even gets to cutting it, he's going to cut CapEx, he will sell off the marginal assets. They do have an aggressive uh, drip, so I think those things will uh, prevail and the dividend will be safe. Now, if natural gas goes back to $2 and oil to 70 I think we have a different story in our hands. Top pick number two is cash. Cash is king in your books, as much as, what, 30% for new No, we, we've cut back uh, a bit. Uh -huh. uh, we're down about 20, 15 okay. or 20. And, uh, you know, we've bought Kraft, we've bought Hortons, uh, we're buying some other stuff. Uh, so uh, the reason for cash, and the viewers wonder, uh, I just think there's enough uncertainty out there vis-a-vis -vis the U.S. election and the disposition of the fiscal cliff, we'd like to have some buying power, and that's really what that uh, cash pick reflects. So you deploy that after the election, after the yeah. staring match on Capitol Hill is yeah, behind exactly. us. Yeah, exactly. Top pick number three, I suppose, is tied to if that staring match doesn't go the way you want it to. Yeah. Well, I think that uh, you know, gold in general, central fund in particular, uh, are going to benefit longer term. I mean, uh, un until we, you and I can look at each other in the eye and say, gee, governments are really serious about their deficit situation, mm -hmm and indeed uh, getting their budget uh, or getting their debt under control. I think gold is going to play, play a prominent part in the monetary system. Now, this holds gold as well as silver, but yeah. tell me, why hold a, a fund that is basically just holding the, the bullion itself? Why not just find yourself at the Scotia Bank at, uh, in downtown Toronto and picking some up yourself? You, you can. In uh, fact, a friend of mine has been buying an ounce a month, uh, every month for the past year or two. They have a bunker in his backyard as well? Uh, pretty much. Okay. <laughs> now, having said that... Call this a large mattress. <laughs> what about what about then going with gold-related stocks, which have been oh, underperforming okay. traditionally? Yeah. Michael, for a typical portfolio, we have 50% in bullion, meaning central fund, 50% in stocks, and that could be basically the TSX gold index. It could be Gold Corp, and of course, it's Scorpio Gold. Mm -hmm. So your belief is that we'll see the equities start to, to rise yeah. lockstep with the metal itself, yeah. despite the fact it hasn't happened in the past. Yeah. And one of the key things going forward is that, um, and I have to say this delicately, I think analysts are scared. Uh, to project a continuing uh, rise in gold prices. Mm. So if you look at the long-term gold prices, it's back to about 12 or 1500. Well, if in fact costs are going up for producers mm -hmm. and the gold price is coming down, that doesn't augur well for the price.
As always, Peter, great having you with us. Thank you so much. Thank you. Peter Breger of Global Invest Capital Management. That's it for this edition of Market Call. The Encore presentation Tuesdays through Fridays, 8 p.m. Eastern, 5 o'clock Pacific. And join Mark Bunting live Monday through Friday at 6 p.m. Eastern for Market Call tonight. As always, please consult a qualified financial advisor before making any investment decisions. I'm Michael Hainsworth. Follow me on Twitter for guest picks, breaking news, and behind the scenes here at BNN. Thank you for joining us. Hope to have you with us on the next program. Take care. Thank you.